I, I think more than anything, what it'll do is it'll allow them, come the postseason, when they're in those tough situations, they can draw on something. It's not going to just be, hey, guys, we can come back or we can still... Do you remember what we did in June? Do you remember what we did in July? Do you remember that game when there were two outs, nobody on, and we drew five straight walks to win a ball game? Or the three consecutive walk-off home runs or hits. Actually, they were all home runs against Colorado. And, and so those sorts of things, you know, they're going to build. Are they a better team? Are they? I, I don't know about that, but what it does do is it creates credibility. Yeah. And from a pitcher's view, you know that about this team. But better than the two World Series teams? And, and is this a hint that they are better, that they can win late like this? Well, you see growth, especially in the rotation. Ryu is turned into a bona fide ace that mm -hmm. thrives off of pitching in the big games. I don't mind him pitching the first ball game in the postseason, even if it's on, they'll be at home most likely, but even if it's on the road, he can win you a big ball game. Walker Buehler is the new toy. I tell you what, there's not a better power arm, especially the youth, in baseball right now, and that takes a ton of pressure off Clayton Kershaw, and now you have that one, two, and three when they're on, they can beat mm -hmm. any hot offense, especially in the National League, and get back to the World Series and represent the National League. Yeah, just about their hitting approach, Eric. You threw that yeah. line out. Explain the 0-1, uh, 0-4-1, oh oh uh, a Dodger philosophy that sounds simple. Well, so they've got a new hitting coach there, Robert Von Skoyek, and he has come in, and the philosophy, he and Brent Brown, Aaron Bates, you know, there's something that he would preach that, you know, I'd never heard before, and it's the line of it's better to be O and one, then O for one. Meaning. Meaning that that first pitch, if it's not right there and it's not something that I can do damage with, take it. I don't care if it's a strike. I'm 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 O and one. That's better than going after it and hitting some ground ball to short. And I'm running. Hitting you know, the pitcher's pitch. And yeah, and now you're now you're O for one. Mm -hmm. And so the whole thing about this philosophy, it's you're looking to do damage, and you're looking to do damage with one strike, two strikes. You know, it's not one of these things where I'm just up there to make contact and. It's proven uh, very successful. Yeah, whether you're Matt Beatty or uh, Barnes or whoever they throw, we know about the right. Petersons and the, and, the, and the Bellingers, but 14 game lead of yep. the division for the Dodgers uh, nearing the All Star break. And this, let me first ask you light a fire. And did you think Madden was out of line or you think maybe he overdid things a little bit to inspire his team? No, I think he was spot on, especially with the situation. He was smart enough to use the situation and use it as a tool to motivate this club. This is a tough division and they're in a fight and they're in a race. I love Joe Girardi. I love love Dusty Baker because they're the same way. They fight for the guys in the locker room. And we make a lot of money. We do a lot of great things. But you still want to know that your manager cares about you. And that's a good situation right there. Let's watch and see. The Cubs might take off. Going against EK right there. The Cubs might take off because now they're fired up. They're motivated. And this could be a spark in their locker room. So they had recently just had a couple of meetings. Right. You know, the Cubs. And nothing, nothing happened. You know, usually you have a team meeting. You usually do it before a team you know you're going to beat and you're going to take But, but was it one of those where they Nothing dress happened. up like a Well, zoom? so this is, this is, well, this is, again, <laughs> he did this for a reason, right? Okay. But I, I don't know that the Cubs take off, not because the Cubs can't take off, but the division is difficult Absolutely. and there's a lot of parity. And I don't think, you know, you don't have the Reds to beat so, up yeah, on. Yeah, they're, they're better than. You know, and, and the Cubs are not, this isn't the team from 2016. I mean, you look at that starting staff and you say, well, where's my horse? Where's my Jake Arrieta? Where's right. my Lester from 2016? Or even Kyle Hendricks, who had a 2-1-3 ERA back then. You don't have that, and you need that if you think you're going to just go dominate. So they're the, you think they're the best in the d division, but not by much. Is that, is that how both. we're... This is yeah. going to be a fun division. The Brewers, the, stretch. the Cardinals. And the Reds are going to be pesky. The, the Reds, Reds are, are going to be pesky. Well, I just said how tight the division is. What, I mean, team, what team in the division didn't you just name? Uh, <laughs> no, right, I, I, my oh, point, oh, no, no, my point is you just went through every one of them. You didn't say the Cardinals, but you can make I, I a did. case for every one. Well, see, I wasn't That's listening right. to That's that okay. part. But the, the okay. whole point is hey, anybody can win this division. There is you, not a clear-cut you, you don't think the Cubs are still just a little better than all of them? Why do you think the Cubs are better? Well, just because, because they're the Cubs? Because they can score runs. You take it easy going back to Chicago. They you can score say, runs. No, no, I'm <laughs> saying, like, why are, why are they that? The, the Brewers can score runs. The, you know, I, so the, here's the thing. The Cubs on paper, look great. They look great. and But you're still trying to figure out, is Kimbrell, how's he going to be? Who is going to be my starter in that d game one? Who are going to be my I guys? think all the other teams have a little deficiency. Everybody has a issues. deficiency. Yeah. That's they, the they probably have, have less of them. But they're only four games over 500, and I would have thought they would have been in a better position by now. I think most of us did. I think they thought Absolutely. That. Right? Well, yeah. we'll, we'll see. see.